Hi, and welcome to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to change the dish serve, for example, the bucket for the ice cream, and how to change the custom plate for Kabbalah made for the ice cream. You don't have to change the custom plate, I'm just going to show you where to find the kit and where to change the kit if you want another custom plate. And if you clone the ice cream, you have to clone the bucket too. And then you have to change the kit for the bucket in the ice cream too. It's going to be clear in a minute. Now you see three files, the custom plate, the bucket itself and the ice cream. First we are going to open the custom plate. The custom plate has always the same git, so actually you don't have to change it in the ice cream. I'm just going to show you where to find the git. You don't have to clone the custom plate, you have just have to share it. As Kokobara made it, you have to share it once and then you can always use it. Now the bucket itself, you have to clone it every time, because every ice cream has another bucket. So every time you have to clone it and you have to give it a new git and write it down. Then you open the ice cream and now I'm going to show you where to find the git to change. So it's in CT Factory Dish Serve for the bucket and CT Factory Dish for the custom plate. You don't have to change the custom plate. Well, I'm going to show you where to find it if you want to. So it's CT Factory Dish Serve. You go to the second line and then below Appearance you see the git of the bucket I, I cloned already. So in the Appearance you can change the value, you can change the git if you clone the bucket again. Now CT Factory Dish is for the custom plate, but then again you don't have to change this. If you want another custom plate than the one Kokobara made, you can change it and you can try it out. But I'm not sure it's going to work out. I haven't tried it yet, so it's at your own risk. I'm just showing you where to find it. Well, actually, this is it. It was a short tutorial showing you where to find the git in a behavior function for the food. I hope you liked it. I hope it's clear to you. You can also find this tutorial on my blog. And I hope you will like and join my future tutorials too.